I have always been interested in science as a child, even when I was little. I remember when I was 10, I used to spend far too much time in the library, reading up on things like advanced physics and advanced biology, which I found utterly fascinating at the time. I thought about becoming a science fiction writer because I love science fiction and I've been reading since, well, since as early as I can remember. Science fiction is very much like research in the sense that it's highly imaginative. You're exploring beyond what is known and you're trying to imagine what's possible, trying to imagine a future world, what things can be done to bring about this future better world. I first became interested in research when I was in university. I had the good fortune to meet some very inspiring researchers and they just showed me how worthwhile and how exciting being a researcher could be. I've never stopped since the time I was in university and I'm continuing with the research up to now. The title of my project is Deciphering the Metabolomic Signature of Age-Related Macular Degeneration in order to discover new pathogenic pathways. Metabolomics is the study of metabolites or small molecules found in the blood. We're aiming to see if we can discover if the blood of patients with age-related macular degeneration has different molecules compared to the blood of people without. What is unique about our study is we are taking an integrated approach whereby we collect information on the genetics, the metabolomics, as well as the diet and the medication use of our patients. Through this integrated approach, we think that we'll be able to get a broader view of what's going on and be able to better identify the processes that lead to the disease, as well as how best to modify these processes. My research is a collaboration between two universities, the University of Sydney, which I am part of, and the University of New South Wales, which my collaborators are part of. It's quite exciting in this sense because we bring together the two strengths of the two universities. I think the research grants given out by the Macular Disease Foundation Australia are absolutely critical to funding research into macular disease in Australia. The reason for this is because the eye is a small organ and when we apply for funding at a national level from the larger organisations, we are often overshadowed by researchers into larger organs like the heart, the brain or the liver. Therefore, eye disease becomes a somewhat neglected area and the work of the Macular Disease Foundation Australia is absolutely critical in supporting this.